cropping touchdowns. That's a tongue twister. A catch unlike any other and two big soccer goals. So let's jump in with number five. Minot visiting Mandan in soccer. The Magi played across the field to Braden Oswald here. And he's going to go across his body to bury it in the left side of the net. That takes some serious skill. Oswald pulling all the defenders to the right side of the field and just pushing it and sinking it to make the game 2-0. Now to number four. Same game. This time it's Mandad's Dalton Fleck with the long kick here, and it sails over the goalie's head. Fleck just drains it about one fourth of the way down the field, but it's no problem for him as he brings the score to two to one. But the Braves would fall in this one. Moving to number three, Mandan hosting Century on the football field. Patriots looking to pass, but it's Owen Hostengard who breaks it up and gets the interception. A ton of concentration on that play. Watch again. The century receiver tips it, and Hostengard has the awareness to make a play on the ball, not to mention the face mask there at the end. A great play by number 32 for play number three. Number two, New Salem hosting Hart River. Jaden Selzler takes the handoff, goes up the sideline. Looks like he's going down, but he spins off the tackle and muscles his way into the end zone for six. What a play. Somehow he keeps his knee off the ground with a defender on him and then reaches for the pylon to get the touchdown. Selzler and the Holsteins win big, 44-8. to eight. And my top play this week, Bismarck hosting Dickinson at the bowl. Bismarck's Isaiah Hoos up the middle and get off the tracks when the train's coming through. The Hoos is loose all the way to the end zone for a big touchdown run. Hoos playing grown man football as he lowers the boom on the safety and keeps running like it never happened. That's an incredible play to earn my top play this week.